Kyle Gorman with the Employer Blueprint. And today we're gonna to talk about conflict resolution, resolving conflict in the workplace. Obviously, we spend a lot of time with our coworkers. And anytime you spend that much time with other people, there's gonna be some sort of conflict over uh, numerous different subjects, issues, concerns, challenges, whether it be personal or professional. And so I get asked this question a lot, how do we resolve these things? How do we take care of these issues? So the first thing that I'm gonna recommend as business leaders is you need to understand the personalities of the individuals in your workplace. There are a lot of different uh, tools out there to do that, such as disk analysis. One of my favorites is the Myers-Briggs assessment. But if you can really start to understand the personalities of the individuals in your workplace, then you can start to understand how when they are in conflict with you or you with them, how you can communicate with them, how you can resolve that conflict, and even better, when you have two employees that are in conflict with each other, how you can kind of mediate that and help resolve that issue. So I really recommend you understand the personalities that are around you in your workplace. So once you've started to understand the personalities that you have in your workplace, then when you have two people that have some sort of conflict with each other, you need to be able to listen to and, and really empathize with their situation. Don't simply be a sounding board. If someone comes to you because they have an issue, a problem, a concern with a coworker, don't just simply listen to them, but really start to understand where they're coming from, understand the challenges and concerns that they're facing. And this is gonna stem from understanding their personality. But then you need to be able to go to the other person, especially if there's a mutual conflict, and really be able to understand and empathize with them as well. Your, your goal here is not to take sides, it's to understand the feelings and emotions of each individual person so we can overcome that and move on. The next thing I recommend is allow time to heal. Oftentimes an employee will come to us and explain that they've got an issue or a problem, that there's some sort of conflict and we wanna address it head on right now. But as with many things in our lives, sometimes the best solution is to simply sleep on it. Let's take a day or two to sleep on it, reflect, think about it, allow them to do the same thing. And sometimes time will heal these issues. Now obviously there are times that it won't and we're gonna address that. But sometimes when it's something quick, kind of an immediate reaction or a problem that just came up this day, Allow some time, give it overnight so that everybody can kind of calm down and start to think more rationally. Then next, when you have these people that are in some sort of conflict with each other, allow them to work it out. Offer suggestions, but do it sort of as an outsider to allow them to work these things out. What this is gonna do is it's gonna strengthen their relationship as opposed to them feeling like anytime there's a problem, they have to come to you. So offer up suggestions, give some advice, maybe tell them how to handle a situation or how to communicate with that individual based on your knowledge of their personality, but allow them to try to work these issues out as best they can so that they don't feel like you're the one that they have to come to anytime there's a problem. And if all of this fails, kind of the last resort is sitting them down in a room with you as a mediator and saying, person A, this is what I'm hearing, and these are the concerns that, that we're getting, and we need to address this. Person B, these are the issues and the challenges that I'm hearing that we need to go ahead and address. So we need to talk this out. Now this is gonna be a very uncomfortable situation for everybody in the room, but ultimately the goal is to overcome this, move on, and build an even stronger relationship amongst everybody in your workforce. So by doing this, you can kind of serve that middle ground and make sure this doesn't become personal or emotional, that we focus on the facts, but let's kind of force them to work through this. Let's force them to talk things out. Let's get it all out on the table so we can put it behind us and create a more unified workforce. So these are some suggestions of how to resolve conflict in the workplace. At some point in our careers, we're all gonna face this, and sometimes it may even happen fairly often, but these are some simple ways that you can step-by-step step try to help resolve this conflict and create a more unified team. If you have any questions about challenges that you're facing individually, please let me know, and we can talk through those. Let's see if we can work through those challenges. For more great information, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and have a great day.